Yo, what's up, guys? Dante here, back with another video. Real quick, just want to say happy, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Today is Christmas. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a little bit something special for you uh, basketball heads out there, you uh, you MJ stands, you LeBron stands. This is the perfect video for you. Now, I came across this on my timeline uh, this morning. Um, and it's from this page called Brahms Best at LBJS Best, and I'm assuming it's a like a stand account. Uh, all things Braun. Okay, Ver there you go. So I saw this. I saw this picture, and I read the the caption, and I was very intrigued because I was like, "What are you trying to prove with this statement?" Um. And I, I looked through it and I was like, this is very, very, it's very, very biased, honestly. And it's not painting the whole picture. So let me get into this real quick. Number of Hall of Famers faced in the NBA Finals, Jordan. 10 total in six trips. Okay. LeBron, 31 total in 10 trips. Now I'm going to debunk this real quick because it's very easy to break apart. Um, so I, I go to this one, I blew it up a little bigger. He is adding the same guys in multiple years. Now, I get this is who they faced in this is who he faced in each year, but it's not like it's a different person, it's the same people. So, real quick, let's start with let's start with uh Jordan. He went up against uh Magic, Wordy, and this right here, it took me a while to figure this out. I had to look it up. This is a very, very young body diva. I didn't know that. I did not know he was on the team that early in his career. But yeah, definitely. These are three Hall of Famers. You got Clyde Drexler, obviously. Charles Barkley, Barkley obviously. Sean, uh, Gary Payton. Uh, Sean Payton. Gary Payton, absolutely. Then you got Carmelo and John Stockton. All Hall of Famers. So if you count that, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not gonna count them again because it's the same person. It's just the, the year after. So in six finals appearances, he went up against eight Hall of Famers. Okay. We go to LeBron. Now, while this is impressive, the amount of years he's been in the finals in his career, this number is very, very skewed. Now they say numbers never lie. And that's true, but they don't always paint the whole picture. So real quick, let's go ahead and break this down. Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Mono Ginobili, clear Hall of Famers. Dirk Nowitzki, Jason Kidd, clear Hall of Famers. Then you get here, KD, James Harden, Russell Westbrook. KD is the only one on this team uh, that you can consider Seriously consider for the, for the Hall of Fame. James Harden and, and Russell Westbrook are not going to the Hall of Fame. I'm sorry. They're great players, but they are not Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame worthy. 13 and 14, they went up against the Spurs. Now, these are a much older team, but they did have Kawhi. I'll give him Kawhi because of his Im immense talent, but he doesn't play enough. And technically, he while he does have two titles, he was not a big proponent for that first title in San Antonio. He was kind of like essentially what uh, Andre Iguodala did in his later years for Golden State. But he did do his thing in, in Toronto, and he brought a title to that team first in history. So that right there, plus what he's done, I'll give him that. So that's a, he's a Hall of Famer. You can't count these guys. But like I said, they've already counted in the beginning. And then also you got this four years of uh, Clay, Steph, and Draymond. Clay and Steph, uh, Steph and Clay, excuse me, automatic Hall of Famers. What they've done in history, they've changed the game literally. Draymond, he is a great role player. He is not a Hall of Famer by any stretch of the amount. If he, by putting him in the Hall of Fame, that would mean he's on the level of Dennis Rodman. No. Absolutely not. Draymond's cool. I love him. 
He has his quirks. He's not a Hall of Famer. Honestly, right here, you got KD again. Can't count him. And then I don't know what this is. I guess they just had to pick a guy off that team that he went against. Jimmy Butler is not a Hall of Famer. That, that, come on, dog. They, sometimes they just they throw a guy that's really good and they just label him Hall of Famer. No, that's not how that works. He is great. He's not a Hall of Famer. Sorry. So let's go back through this one last time and let's count the actual number of players that are actually Hall of Famers or Hall of Fame worthy. You got Tim, Tony, Manu, that's three. Dirk and Jason, that's five. KD, six. Um, Kawhi, seven. Stephen Clay, that's uh, eight and nine. So that's nine Hall of Famers he's won against. So in his 10 finals appearances, uh, no, I, I, it depends on how you want to count this, the bubble. But for the sake of the argument, let's, get, let's say it's 10. So in his 10 appearances, not only is he 4-6, and six, but he only went up against one extra Hall of Famer. While Jordan, in his six trips, six for six, went up against one less Hall of Famer. Now... I understand nine is more than eight, but there's also there's also context to these numbers. So basically the point I made, I wanted to make in this video is that sometimes you gotta dig a little deeper between the numbers to get the full story. Um this this chart looks amazing at on the surface level until you break it down. And hopefully that's what I did. I broke it down for you guys. So yeah. As always, um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Are you LeBron Stan? Are you MJ Stan? Let me know. Um, as always, you guys have a great day. Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoy the rest of it. The next hour and a half. And uh, yeah, I see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ooh.